how long have you been working with CIM Expo? You don't know? I should have. <laughs> I've been here for, this is my 12th full expo. I could say 12 and a half because I worked half of the 2006 show in Vancouver. I can't even tell you how many times we've been back to get Vancouver. I think this is five for me. What about you? I've been with Sam for seven years, but uh, under the expo, this is going to be my fifth one. That's right. You didn't always work in the expo. No. Started as a meeting planner. That's right. That's right. Cool. Okay. I got, I got one for you. What are some of the spectacular expo moments that you've witnessed? Well, there's so many, but the first one I think of is one year there was one of exhibitor that made his first contact at the CIM Expo which actually became one of the largest water treatment contract in their history. Really? And we're not going to name names because it probably wouldn't be fair to all the other deals that we don't even know were happening. For us, it's always the uh, sales. Sales is the most important for not only, obviously, not only for us, but for all the exhibitors that are on the floor. We're all there to push something. We're all there to show our wares. So there was a couple of years back, one of our manufacturers for uh, equipment actually sold a drill on the floor and that's a few hundred thousand dollars and just last year one of our underground operators sold a people mover that was worth well he actually sold it and from the show drove it up to the gold uh, the gold mines in northern quebec so um, that was one of the great ones for me i got another question for you shoot in the age of all the digital meetings and, and social media uh, can you speak to the idea of why it's so important to still network in person? Actually, the value of some of these sales makes a face-to-face -face encounter pretty much mandatory. Our latest survey shows that over 70% of our exhibitors do business together. 70%? Well, I, I think because the, the amount of, we've got OEMs to contractors, we've got consultants to just like product distributors. There are literally hundreds of different reasons why people come to the expo or exhibitors exhibit at the expo. One of the best reasons to come is the networking that we do on the floor. Not, and that's for exhibitors as well as for the visitors. And we've, we've got a lot of social activities that, that, that go on. It's not only the lunches that happen, but everything is pushed towards the exhibition. So coffee breaks and, and, uh, and the beer that's on the floor that we, we have sponsored between 3.30 and 5 both days. Our opening ceremonies. It's, it's and, and on the floor. Everything is done on the expo floor. And, and that's one of the main reasons why the exhibitors like it so much. There's a lot of, of social activities that are happening on the floor, especially this year. Which probably leads to a, one of our questions is, what are we looking forward to this year? There's a lot of anniversaries. Uh, it's the 120th anniversary of CIM. That's true. It's ours. And uh, there's a couple of our exhibitors that they're doing a, a like, couple of anniversaries on the floor. So they will do little receptions, but it's all going to be a bunch of surprises for all the people going to visit the show. It's our 120th birthday, and I think that's uh, the longevity itself speaks volumes for, for the expo. We, this is our 35th annual conference that's consecutive, 35 consecutive years. No one in the industry can say that. None of our competitors can even come close, so 